All right, everyone, final murders at Karlov Manor product will be opening right here in this play booster. Again, I know it's uh, Cowboys cards out right now, Thunders of Outlaw Junction. We're behind, so we still have this set. But to spice this up a little bit, try to make it a little more exciting, we've got a couple of random booster packs right here. Well, this one's a set booster. But yeah, let's crack these open in addition to this and see what we get. That is what we do on this channel. And hopefully, all right. You say maybe there's a triome in there, but unfortunately not. So new Capenna set booster was a failure. March of the Machine. Man, I almost forgot about this set. And that's why. Now, oh, okay, not bad. So, Ren and Roundbreaker. Again, so many cards get printed and released. I forgot Ren was back with that one. Not getting really any play. It's a Mythic. I'm not even sure what it does. Is it a Mythic? Yes, it is. All right, we're moving fast with this one today. So, now we got Cal Caldime. Caldime, Caldime, Set Booster. Do we get a Vorinclex? Eh, Village Rights, we'll take that. Rally the ranks and ouch and ouch. So nothing with that one. We'll save the MH2 pack for last. Brothers War, let's go. Oh, Haywire might. I was going to say, that's going to be the highlight of the box. Or of this pack, rather. Rootwire Amalgam. Amalgam. However you say it, there was an Ornithopter there as well. Okay, Modern Horizons too. Let's see what is in here. Maybe a fetch land. Huh? Just a dam. Oh, well that was uneventful, right? Let's see if we can make up for it with this. Don't have my opening knife here. I think I may have lost that in the move. Again, thanks to everyone that stuck around with the channel. Just working a new this new job. I just don't have man, there's only 14 cards in here. I just realized that. Yeah, I just don't have the same time to do all this as I used to, unfortunately. I gotta concentrate on what actually makes me money. And I am not one of the lucky ones that I can make a a living off Magic the Gathering. Or a good enough living. Because I like money. I like to buy expensive cards. And there's kind of one there right now. That, that's going to be one of the better cards in the box. A Foil Aftermath Analyst. And I probably threw a bunch of these out. Or donated the bulk. Before that thing shot up to like 3 bucks. It's a case of the Crimson Pulse. Ah, pick your poison. Killing it there in the bulk slot. In that one. Last box, we did get two special guest cards. That was surprising. Te is, is, isn't that the one that got killed? I don't even know who got killed. It's written on the back of the box somewhere. Doorkeeper Thrall, another one of those ones. Artifacts and creatures. Uh, don't call uh, with ETBs. Don't trigger. Another one of those suppressive cards. Long goodbye. We, we saw that one in the last video. We'll take that as our bulk card. And yeah, I hope the next... I hope the Thunders of Outlaw Junction... Oh, there's that dog again. Hope that's set. Oh, Lush Portico. Okay. Foil Surveil Land. Hopefully that set has a better uh, play box because... After this set, and I don't know if it's the set or I, it's there's a lot of things, but you cannot tell me that a play box, any play box we've op we've opened, has even come close to like just to use and compare it to those um, set boxes from Wilds of Eldraine and Lost Caverns of Ixalan. So I kind of I don't know. If it really feels like we took a step backwards. This just these just feel like a more expensive. Uh, draft booster box i definitely miss the set boxes but again you can't really judge uh you can't really judge these off uh this one set release perhaps in the next one they'll make up for it
Oh, there, that makes up some ground right there. So ma another Massacre Girl. We got one in the last opening as well. So second Mythic of the box. And this one is the Massacre Girl. Crime novelist. I kept calling this true crime novelist in another video because my girlfriend watches all that true crime stuff. And I just thought that's what he, he, what he was called. Oh, an Insidious Roots. Look at that. A list pull, rare list pull. You definitely, man, remember how many list pulls we get out of one set box? You're lucky to get one out of these boxes. Relive in the past. Yeah, and I, I really want to keep track of this in future box openings, but I'm just interested to actually count how many of these play boxes where you get multiple uh, multi-rare packs. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, would you would you be happy if you spent five or six... To, what, I don't even know what these things are going for at retail, but if you spent like six dollars on these last few packs per pack, you probably would have been really upset. Just nothing really happening yet. I mean, oh, no more lies. There we go. Surprisingly good bulk in this set. Ooh, there, oh wow, in a play box, a second Massacre Girl, very nice, but this is the showcase version. So yeah, this is, oh, and an Undercity soars right behind that. Any good bulk to make the pack even better? No, that was, that was nice right there. That was really nice. So we get the Massacre Girl, one of the more desired uh, big cards in the set, and then the Undercity soars. Most expensive surveil land, I do believe. Outside of like extended arts and foils, but oh, there we got some action in this pack. So, Buzz Crusher, Arch Druid's Charm, very good one right there, and a Hedge Maze. So already this uh, in this uh, bo uh, box opening here, three Surveil Lands. That uh, partial box we did. There's only like five, uh, maybe like five or six packs taken out of that, but only three Surveil Lands in that whole uh, whole box. More dogs, very nice. Oh, another tragic slip. That's so weird. Like the first four or five boxes I did of these, I got like zero uh, special guest pulls. So I guess special guest pulls are just going to be another aftermath analyst. I guess they're just, I thought those, oh, and I pick your poison. Can't even get my thought out because the pack keeps uh, giving us goodies there. Yeah, because Lost Caverns of Ixalan had the uh, special guest cards. So I guess, yeah, we're just going to get them in every set now. Yeah, I think what's going to really uh, help Outlaws of Thunder Junction is you got a but you got a few, like, little mini sets in there. I forget what they're all called. I don't know if you guys saw that diagram of all the set symbols, but wow, that was, uh, that was a lot to process. But yeah, there's going to be some special variant sets in that, which really should help the value. And yeah, I think that's going to be a really strong product. Krenko. Krenko is back. I don't think he ever left. He's like, feels like he's see a Krenko in every set now. Underground Mortuary. High alert from the list. Reenact the crime. Wojak. Wojak, however you say. I do believe that was the buy a box promo or whatever, so... And I'm surprised this, I mean, this really shouldn't be an expensive one, but, um, yeah, like, Red just has, I don't know when it happened, I guess it's been happening for a couple years now, but Red just has some pretty good card draw spells at the moment. And that's usually what makes, uh, 
especially in standard, a lot of like Racko, Rakdos uh, and Reanimator decks. You used cards like that to dump stuff in the graveyard early game. Then you use some Reanimate spell and you're just getting something onto the battlefield that you should not have there till much later in the game. That is how Reanimate decks work. Just cheating stuff onto the battlefield. All right, in the last few packs, I've kind of slowed down a little bit, but man, that was, I was not expecting a massacre girl, two massacre girls in here, especially one in the showcase. Hide in plain sight. Ooh, man, another, uh, and this one, man, we don't, you don't see, this might be the most expensive one now because you don't see a lot of the Thundering Falls. I pulled a decent amount of Surveil Lands at this point, and this feels like, I think I pulled like one or two of these. So you don't see a lot of them, very nice. Some of the players in a foil. Incinerator of the Guilty, so another mythic right there. Five mythics so far. If you're counting. Not worth a lot, but when you see that thing turn one in standard, you know. You're playing right uh Boros Convoke. That that's it. So I don't know, maybe you scoop as soon as you see that guy come out. Uh, almost on the final rung of packs here. Damn, killing it. Just absolutely killing it with the Surveil Lands in this box. It's the Meticulous Archive. Plains or an Island, Surveil One. And another Slime Against Humanity. But yeah, I haven't went up. I've lost a few games to decks like that. Using a bunch of slime against humanities. So Cryptic Code. This one was getting a lot of buzz for a while. Um, I really want to see someone play with that online. I just want to see like the best strategy. Because I get it, but I don't. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Sharp Die Rookie. Wow. We got to count real quick. So shadowy backstreet. We, no, there's no way to hit for the cycle because there are 10 surveil lands in this set. But what are we at so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Are they all different? Wow. Could we really hit for the cycle in this? We would need three more. I doubt it's going to happen, but that's crazy. Seven surveil lands out of this play box right here. She's cool. Wow. Eight surveillance. This is crazy. So that Lush Portico. And you gotta love magic. I learned so much from it. I had to Google what a portico was, and I was educated. I've learned a lot. Oh, Millstone on the list. Magic 14. Okay. Lamplight Phoenix. All right, let's get out of here before our camera starts acting up. Still on this Google Pixel 6, or is this a Pixel 6? I can't even remember. But I've heard a lot of uh, people online that are recording a lot saying, that it seems like a lot of these phones are overheating now when they record for too long. We're just asking for too much out of the small footprints of these phones. I think that's what's going on. Soon we're going to have phones that are just going to have like fans on them and stuff. We're going to have to do something. Cool these things down. Ooh, and there's Delny. Okay. Haven't pulled one of him in a while. So he is probably... I know his Invisible Ink is the most expensive card in the set. And is that, that's a that's another Surveil Land behind there. So yes, Delny's cool. But wow, another Surveil Land. Maybe that can be the title of this video. 
all the surveil lands. I mean, we really might now. There's no way we're gonna hit for the cycle. There's not enough packs left. I th I feel like. Damn close to it though. Man, I think I feel like one of the collector boxes I opened only had like two or three surveil lands in it. So they really hooked us up in this box. And a pick your poison. And a breakout. All right, four packs left. The way this box has been uh, producing. Oh, crime novelist in a foil. There we go. The way this box is, has been. All right, phone just overheated, but that's what's great. It doesn't happen until later in the video. Nobody's watching at this point, which is totally fine. And if Wizards is watching, stop wasting a slot on these friggin' art cards. World Souls Rage, that's the one right there. You can do like 50 damage right to the face right now in standard. I love direct damage spells that can go to a player. Crime Novelist. All right, guys, we're just about out of here. Hunted Bone Brute. More Slimes Against Humanity. All right, last pack. Is it, or is it a Surveil Land? It really could be. What did we get, 10? So we're going to count at the end. I think we're at 10. Ooh, Leyline of the Guild Pack. Very nice in the last pack. Not a mythic, but we'll put it in that slot. Ooh, and no more lies. See, it's a bad set, right? Look at all that good bulk we got. Terrible set. All right, let's see how we did. We'll get prices on the screen, too. I got to make sure I'm doing that. So, Leyline. Delny. Two Massacre Girls. So, pretty good in that slot. But let's see the Surveil Lands. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine surveil lands. Man, we were really close to hitting the cycle out of a play box, which is, that is pretty absurd right there. So yeah, guys, um, man, I would not be opposed to opening more of this, but yeah, we got Cowboys cards coming up, Outlaws of Thunder, Junction, Modern Horizons 3. Again, I'm just not going to get to upload at the same frequency as I did before. But uh, thanks for watching. Again, thanks to those that have stayed subscribed since I've had like a, a four or five month hiatus. But yeah, um, we'll be back soon. I should have Outlaws sometime next week. And yeah, we're going to do it.